What up guys, Nick Diaz has responded to Tywin Woodley's uh, request of maybe fighting him at UFC 202. Diaz has come out saying Tyron Woolley, you're calling me out. I'll fight. I'll definitely fight you at UFC 202. Just make the uh, the fight a big money fight, and I'm down to fight you. And I think this is going to be a great fight if they make it happen. Nick Diaz is coming off like a two-year layoff, and Tyron Woolley is coming off a victory of brutally knocking out former welterweight champion of the world, Robbie Lawler. I think when you have these two guys in the cage, Nick Diaz has to take it more than the first round he has to oppress the action take it out of the first round because we know Tywin Willie has that extreme burst of energy that extreme knockout power he can brutalize you from bell to bell and he has that closing the distance where the Diaz brothers like to throw pitter patter punches and shit talk and I've never seen anybody trash talk like the Diaz brothers in the cage so Diaz, you know he's in a trash talk. Tyron Willie, is that going to work in the fight or is it not going to work in the fight? And the reason why Tyron Willie said, I don't want to fight Stephen Boyd Thompson. People are like, well, he's the number one contender. And he's like, dude, this is the UFC. People now just want to fight because they, he said, now people are making money. This is where I want to make money. I want to make a living. I don't want to be fighting like like low-end fights to get like $20,000 here, $30,000 there. He wants the money fight where he's getting hundreds of thousands of dollars for the fight. So do you guys think Tyron Woolley will be able to beat Nick Diaz in a straight MMA fight at UFC 202? I think that's going to be a hell of a fight. Tyron Woolley is a beast. You got Diaz, who's always a uh, top contender, always in there. The fans are always going to uh, want to see Diaz. And Diaz is a dude who always will come in here and throw down. He has great jiu-jitsu, great boxing, and they're known for being able to take a hell of a punch. And they have cardio for days. So if it goes out of the first, second, third round, the Diaz brothers are going to win. Because Tyron Woolley, after about 10 minutes of fighting, he gets kind of tired. But as a MMA fan, I'm going to say Tyron Woolley will win if it is finished in the very first round. But if it goes out of the second or third round, you definitely got to give it to uh, Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz hasn't fought in two years, but Nick Diaz is a guy who's always in there, who will trash talk you, who will get under your skin, who to just start throwing down. You think Nate Diaz talks a lot of crap. Nick is the innovator of the trash talking in the side, in the cage. But I'm a dude who loves to see these two guys fight. Do you really think uh, the rankings matter anymore? I think it comes down to one of two things. If it's an exciting fight for the fans, they should make it happen. Don't just put on fights because this guy is ranked number one and this guy is ranked number two and nobody cares about this guy who's ranked number one. Nobody cares about him and nobody's going to make money off that fight. That's why I think Nick Diaz versus all the, uh, all the game in the world to make it. You should make it and they should have it happen because Nate Diaz wants to will be on that card. You have Conor McGregor on that card. This would be one of the biggest fight cards of all time, like viewing wise, because people are like, damn, two Diaz brothers and and Conor McGregor is on this fight card. Damn, people will tune in to watch. No one really watches the Tyron Woolley fight, to be honest with you. But Tyron Woolley is still a beast, but I don't know if he can hang and bang in the later rounds with Diaz. And Diaz is known to just put it on you, just go up there and just land like pitter patter punches. And the Diaz brothers have some of the best boxing. That's ever been implemented in the MMA game. So, would you guys think Tyron Woolley would have smashed Diaz? Or do you guys think Diaz would have actually be able to hang and bang after a two-year layoff? I think he could because Tyron Woolley was like on a 15-month uh, layoff. And you see what he did. So, would this be for a title? Would this not be for a title? It doesn't matter because it would be a badass fight. Tyron Woolley versus Nick Diaz. UFC 202, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Post in the comment section below who do you think is going to win and why? Baby.